So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three different low bun slash low knot hairstyles that I think are perfect for summer. So I love these low bun hairstyles because they're super quick, they're super, super easy, and they look super cute. And they're great for those really hot, sweaty, sticky summer days when you just can't stand your hair touching you <laughs> in any way. Uh, but yeah, you still want it to look good, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm actually working with day four hair right now, so... Um, I'm, I put a little dry shampoo in this morning. I'll link the one that I use down below. It's drugstore. It's my favorite. It works super, super well. Um, and then a lot of my curls have really kind of loosened and fallen out. That's okay because we are going to keep the hair up, but I do like that I still have a bit of that texture. So I recommend doing these on like day two, day three, day four hair, just so that you do have some texture in and your hair is not really flat from just washing it on day one. So I'm just going to quickly, just to smooth it out, take a boar bristle hairbrush and run that really lightly through my hair just to smooth it all out. Okay guys, so I am starting out bun number one by sectioning off my hair into three sections. So just from starting from like the crown of my head and then sectioning down two side areas right around where my ear is. And I'm just leaving those pushed to the front. And then I'm gonna gather all of this hair that's left in the back into a low pony. And so then instead of pulling the pony all the way through, I'm going to leave it looped at about halfway. And I never like really sleek hairstyles on myself, so I always kind of let pieces fall out and let it look a little loosey-goosey. That's just the look that I prefer. And then the ends that were left over, I'm just wrapping them around to hide the elastic and then bobby pinning it underneath. Then what I'm doing is I'm taking my side sections that I've left out and I'm twisting them both away from my face. Just loosely, this doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just taking that twisted section back and wrapping the ends securely around the base of the pony, or the base of the bun, I guess I should say, and then I'm just bobby pinning that into place, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And again, I prefer a much more undone look, so I do like to pull pieces around my ears and around just kind of like the base of the pony out a little bit just so it gives me some more volume. And then I just like to pull out maybe one or two face framing bits because again I really like that undone look. And that is that. So this is bun number one all done. Okay, so now on to bun number two, and honestly, this one is super simple. It's really all about the hair accessory. So I just got this super cute little scrunchie from the dollar store a while back. They always have lots of different versions of these, I find, and they're a buck, and they do the trick. So again, I'm just starting off by twisting my hair back. I do like to kind of twist the sides out. It just gives a little bit more volume at the base there, and then I'm just loosely pulling that all into an imperfect little low pony bun and again I'm just twisting it around it doesn't need to be super clean looking this one I like to have the ends kind of all over the place pulled out looking a little bit 
undone. And then I'm just taking that scrunchie and wrapping it around the base of the bun. And then I'm just kind of puffing up the scrunchie a bit so you can see more of the pattern. Again, loosening up some of the hair just to give me some more volume. And that is that for bun number two. So for this last bun, again, I always like to start my low buns the same way, just by twisting the sides back into a low pony or a low bun. And then I'm just pulling that pony tight, and then I'm splitting the ponytail into two equal parts. And I'm going to start twisting them both towards my front. You could do either way, it really doesn't matter, but I'm just twisting them as tight as I can. And then I'm going to twist those around each other. Just loosely, again, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then once I've twisted them together, I'm just going to wrap them around into a loose bun. And then I'm just going to bobby pin this into place. And again, I just like to pull out some face framing bits, and that is that for bun number three. This is probably my favorite one. I do this one all the time in the summer. Okay guys, so that is it. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That would really help out this video and my channel and subscribe if you want to keep hanging out with me over here on my little corner of the internet and yeah i hope you all enjoy the rest of this extremely beautiful day and i will see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.